this video, I'm going to show the Scratch programming environment and its basic functions as well as the different usage of Scratch blocks. But before I proceed, what is a Scratch program? A Scratch program is a drag and drop programming language used for making games, animations, and interactive stories. Scratch programming can be installed in your computer, smartphone, or can be a web-based application. Before you create a Scratch program, you have to familiarize yourself to the Scratch environment and its functions. The first part is a menu bar that contains a drop-down menus that used to create new file, open, save, record your video, and share your file to Scratch website. The second one is a project name. Basically, this is the name of your project. And the third one is a stage. In this area, you can add a background for the stage, design costumes and sounds for sprites, and create your own sprites. The next part are cursor tools. This is used to duplicate, delete, make your sprites bigger and smaller. And the next part is block types or blocks palette. Just like the make block, scratch programming is made up also of eight block types. The first one is a motion block and are used to control the sprite's movement. It's one of the eight categories. They are color coded medium blue. Next one is a looks block. It's one of the eight categories. They are color-coded purple and are used to control a sprite's appearance. The next block is a sound. Sound is one of the eight categories. They are color-coded pink, magenta, and are used to control sound. The next block is event. They are color-coded light yellow and are used to sense events which trigger scripts to run. Event blocks are essential for every project. Without the blocks, a project would not be able to begin except by manually running script. The next block is control. They are color-coded gold and are used to control script. The control block poses its script for the specified amount of seconds. The weight can also be a decimal number. Blocks held inside the block will loop a given amount of times before allowing the script to continue. Next block is Sensing, are one of the eight categories. They are color-coded light blue and are used to detect things. They can be used to determine the location of the mouse pointer, its distance from other sprites, and whether a sprite is touching another sprite. Next block is Operator. They are color-coded light green and are used to script math equations and string handling. And the last block, the variable. Variable blocks are color-coded orange and the least blocks are color-coded dark red. There are currently 17 variable blocks, 11 stocks blocks, 5 reporter blocks, and 1 boolean block. There are 5 variable blocks and 12 list blocks. And the next part is a username. If you want to create an online account in a Scratch website. The next part is a script area. Blocks from the block palette are dragged into the script area. So the script area displays a stack of blocks connected to each other. And the next part is help. This is used if you want to find guide for navigation, coding, and the whole interface. And the next part is a backpack. A backpack is used to move scripts, costumes, and sounds between different projects. And the next part is a sprite list. The sprite list gives the thumbnails 
of all the sprites in the current Scratch project. For each sprite, it shows the sprite's name, how many scripts it has, and how many costumes it has. Alright, these are the parts of a Scratch program. Please do watch the part 2 of this video wherein I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Scratch program.